What's up YouTube land? Welcome to another video from SAS Gaming. This time again in Medieval Dynasty. Today I'm going to show you a place where you can begin your settlement that is often overlooked. It's one of the best spots. It has very few cons, a lot of pros, and it's something that most people didn't even think about. So I'm currently on the map. I'm here, right? If you press the unstuck button, so escape in the menu, you press unstuck, you land here, which is close to Costovia. It's on the fork. This basically teleports you to this region. So, the specifications for a good settlement is there should be level ground for buildings or level enough ground. Let's have a look. There's more than enough level ground here if we remove some trees and stuff like that. Close to water. There's a stream just around the corner because you need some water. It must be close to resources such as wood. There's a lot of wood. <laughs> and also stone. There's a lot of stone there. And there's a lot of stone lying around here. And it doesn't matter what you decide or where you decide it. You do need land for farming. Again, farming can be done on any land as long as it's not on rocks. So if you don't farm on the rocks, you can farm anywhere here as long as you clean it up good. So, as I mentioned, the unstuck location. As you can see, there's a lot of open space, a lot of rocks, a lot of stuff to be able to do here. This is prime real estate. So let's look at some of the pros. Pro number one, stone. A lot of stones in the area and small rock sections for mining later on. You're also close enough to the mountains where you can create mining outposts later on that's also not necessarily that far away from your from your from your settlement. As you can see, there's a lot of things here. Secondly, wood. You're in the middle of a forest, so wood is uh, one of the most important resources. Other than food, which should be in surplus, especially when you create lumberjack huts, those will keep your village woody for long. The area is so densely populated with trees, you will need to work hard to exhaust the area of it wood, since after two years the trees will have grown back. So after a year you will have a small branches, which is basically for sticks, and then after two years you will have a fully grown tree again. Thirdly, it comes to sticks. Since this is a very woody area, sticks will be an easy supply. Since you're in the middle of the forest, as I said, and you can get sticks very easily, as you will need it for a lot, especially early game, as mo all the buildings, you require some sticks to get it built. Also, you do require logs. Again, you're in the middle of the forest. Look at all these trees. There's more than enough trees for you to get more than enough logs. Spruce trees gives three logs. And maple trees gives four logs. And if you have a shovel, you take out the stump, which means it's one extra log. So again, you will have more than enough logs. And if it's winter, just make sure that you turn some of the logs into firewood. Because firewood supplies your settlement with more wood than logs do. And again, you need to create planks from logs. And like, I, like you can see here, there's more than enough wood for that. Again, you will require some water for your settlement. Mostly you require the water and water is just down the road, literally just down the road. So just go down and get some water. Buildings. To create buildings you will need some flat ground. As you can see there's a couple of sections here where there's flat ground. And you can build your buildings, like especially this area. There's a lot of flat ground in this area here. And you can build your buildings here. So a couple of buildings this side of the road, a couple of buildings that side of the road. There's more than enough space to build. You will have flat spots where you can start out outright or you can cut down some trees and create some more space. Always make sure that you have an axe and a shovel to clear out the base of the tree which is also a free log as I mentioned earlier. As you can see that is a deer. Deer are just around the corner. Same with rabbits and same with wisons. Wisons also close by. So food which is meat basically in this case berries 
as you can see there are a lot of berry brushes around the corner berries 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 there's more than enough food in this area so food again is readily available to hunt this includes as i mentioned deer wison and rabbits running around also the berry bushes that's in the area will have a good source of income uh, you can also check out my other video where i sh basically show you how berries are a good source of income and then also berries are good for food make sure that you gather all the berries in summer because berries in summer are the only time they're edible and you can just store them they don't go completely spoiled before the next season of summer so make sure that you're, you've got a lot of berries in your food storage and then home teleporting home this cannot be overstated just how convenient this is for you to go home for example you are currently in Jezerika you're busy doing a mission you're there and it's late at night or whatever the case will be is and you want to get home escape unstuck and look at that you are home or you are currently in Hornika, which is not that far from home but far enough and you've gathered a lot of resources you've got a lot of hunting so you've got a lot of leather a lot of meat a lot of stuff in your inventory and you are currently over encumbered which means you are either walking extremely slow or you can't walk at all that means press escape unstuck on your inventory just drop a couple of things and you can easily go and place them where you need to place them nice and simple very good for long to uh, for long hauling as they would say so instead of having to hire a truck from your local depot you can just be it yourself and use the unstuck button now as i mentioned there are a couple of cons one of the cons would be you're not close to a large body of water which means that the reeds are harder to come by but again you're not that far from the coastline a lot of reeds are there and a lot of reeds are there and reeds are quite light so when you go down there make sure you've got a lot of space in your inventory grab as much reeds as possible and bring it back home again escape unstuck and you're home nice and easy so instead of having to go there one trip two trips three trips four trips for two full loads all you can do is you can go there fill up escape unstuck come back home drop off go there repeat the process so two loads equals to four loads because you just cut the transportation time in half so it's not that bad as i mentioned earlier the mountains are there which can be used for mining they are a little bit away they are not next to the to the settlement itself but there's more than enough rock to mine rock 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 there's a couple of rocks there there's a couple of rocks there in the corner more than enough rocks to mine and as I mentioned, there's a lot of rocks you can just pick up on the ground. And farmlands. Now, farmlands you can, like I mentioned, farm literally anywhere except on the rock. However, the not all farmlands will, not all fields in this case, will be created equal. Some fields will yield more if they are more fertile. For example, this flat piece of ground will be good for a field. Then this hilly part. However, you can use these areas for fields. So, this is one of the best kept secrets regarding a base building that you can get. The only thing that you need to make sure is that you don't build where you are getting unstuck, which is almost impossible because it is on a road. So there's space there, there's space there, there's an antelope, there's a rabbit, there's rocks. There's more than enough places here that you can build and grow a settlement especially as a beginner it just makes life easier and then later on you can on a new game for example you can always explore other areas where you can build a settlement but this is one of the best kept secrets and that's it that's basically my quick tip for today on medieval dynasty just a reminder i do stream on twitch mondays wednesdays and fridays as well as trovo and youtube do join me uh, about 6 30 gmt plus two and then some weekends I also stream. And uh, if you like the video, if it helped, uh, do like the video. Also subscribe for more videos in future like this. I do a lot of how-to videos, especially No Man's Sky and uh, Medieval Dynasty. I then play a lot of games as well, mostly Warzone. Do you feel to join? And uh, if you feel so inclined, do leave a comment. If you found a place, for example, that is excellent, that will be good for building a settlement. Uh, leave a comment, as I mentioned. 
And again, thanks for watching the video up until now. Uh, good luck. Have fun.